My name is Alyssa Hayes and I was born in Waukegan in Lake County. I grew up in East Gurney where I attended Illinois District 56 schools where 80% of students are people of color and the majority are Hispanic and or black. Uh, I'm also a proud graduate of, of Warren Township High School, which is over 60% students of color. So whenever there's a mention of environmental justice or EJ communities throughout this discussion, my hometown and my community are certainly included. Um, I, went, I went on to earn my bachelor's degree in nuclear engineering in 2019 from the University of Illinois. I was the first person in my family to attend college and I'm now a nuclear engineering PhD candidate studying at the University of Tennessee, though of course I'd still go home to Illinois for the summer and the holidays. Um, but I became a scientist because I am an environmentalist. As we know, the expansion of non-carbon emitting energy sources is increasingly important during the modern climate crisis, but we must expand equitably and we must reduce the disproportionate harm that fossil fuels cause to EJ communities. As we phase out our coal and gas dependence in Illinois, we cannot ignore the needs of our coal and gas plant workers. When we replace these facilities with carbon free ones, it is our responsibility to ensure a just job transition so that the same coal and gas workers may continue to provide our communities with reliable heat and electricity without needing to move to other towns. New studies by New Scale and the Nuclear Energy Institute are concluding that nuclear plants can directly replace existing coal and gas burners uh, preserving some of the existing infrastructure and the local jobs, and removing the ban on new nuclear construction is the first step. Opponents of this bill have spoken a lot about nuclear waste in EJ communities, such as Zion and Lake County. My friends and I grew up like 20 minutes away from the spent fuel in Zion, and we never felt at risk. With my bachelor's and now graduate education, I can tell you that we never were. Spent fuel does not pose a risk to the public health or to the environment. Now opponents have valid economic concerns that I can agree with, but lifting the ban on new reactors does not obstruct, obstruct the movement to address the economic impacts on EJ communities. The Stranded and Nuclear Waste Policy Acts would allocate over $15 million annually for Zion alone. Better yet, advanced reactors can recycle this waste as new fuel. So instead of closing existing plants, we should really be building new ones. I'm excited to see a clean energy future that is inclusive to nuclear and Illinois is already poised to lead the way, especially with the microreactor project underway at the University of Illinois already, which I'm happy to speak more on. There are actually many environmental benefits offered by nuclear. Nuclear does not require intense battery storage. It is the least mining intensive. It requires the fewest materials. And it is by far the least land intensive of any low carbon power source, meaning that nuclear also has the smallest impact on local wildlife. Thanks to CJA, Illinois is obviously committed to a net zero energy portfolio by 2050. The most effective strategy to achieve these ambitious goals is to adopt an all of the above mindset. We must build the infrastructure to replace Illinois fossil generation and nuclear must be a part of that solution. Thank you for your time. I'm happy to take any questions.